so the audio on this mic isn't that great. What's going on guys, my name is Sav and welcome to the Bearded Point of View. So I decided to buy a shotgun mic to help me create better quality content for you guys. Should've wore shades. As soon as it came, I was actually tempted to rip it open. Literally just wanted to punch it, stab it, slash it. I'm not usually this violent. But then I thought, Hey, why not just open this on camera? That's a bit too up close and personal. Let's move away. So I'm gonna open the box. I'm going to test it on the Canon 600D that I'm using right now. And I'm gonna review it on my GoPro Hero 5 Black. So let's go test it out. Just to let you guys know, this is not a paid or sponsored video and hopefully it's actually a good product for this journey. So let's go! So this is the Techstar SGC698 powered shotgun camera microphone la 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 As you can see it's a product from China which I don't really, you know, care. I mean, go for a good price, had some good reviews, thought hey, might as well just try it out. I don't know if you can read that. Here's the gist of its features. It adopts X and Y stereo pickup technology, clear sound image localization, built in 20 plus dB and minus 10 dB sensitivity switch to satisfy different recording occasions, built in low cut filter switch for effective ambient low frequency noise reduction, RFI shielding technology, which basically reduces the interference of like radio signals from, you know, like phones and stuff. Low power warning which reminds you to replace the battery soon. It's shockproof design to reduce mechanical noise. It uses the standard hot and cold shoe connector for a quick and easy secure installation. Uses a standard 3.5mm jack for signal output and it sports an aluminium or aluminum if you're from the states. Housing to keep it fashionable, stable and scratch free. So let's open it up. Don't really need that. So my first impression, I like that it comes in a nice stylish hard box, it's got the brand printed on the front. There's not really anything else on there, is there? It's just, but I like it. It's not one of those shiny boxes, one of those matte ones. It looks pretty sleek. So. And let's see if this works. That's better. So, now that we've actually got it open, and it stays open, we have the instructions and information booklet, which I don't really fancy reading. I guess there's a battery that's meant to be here, but I think it's inside. Windshield for those, you know, windy days you want to record outside. A little certificate of quality, whatever. And a sleek looking, apparently shockproof microphone with the 3.5 Jack. If this focuses, brand, model number, etc. The on button, you can change the decibels to plus 20, minus 10. Uh, that's just a standard on. The low cut, turn it off. Oh. It's got a little light, but I think that's only when, like, when you're turning it on and off, it comes on and on. There's no steady light. Don't know how I feel about that. I thought this would have been metal to be honest, but this is just plastic, so I'm not happy about that. Nice little mount for the cold shoe, I guess. Or the hot shoe, whatever you want to use it on. You just screw it in and secure it. So, let's test it out. So this is with the microphone on, standard, 0 dB increase or decrease. This is what it sounds like on plus 20 dB with a normal setting. Decrease it by 10 dB. Let's see what that sounds like. Testing, one, two. Can you hear that? This is what it sounds like with the low cut on and with minus 10 dB. This is what it sounds like on zero dB. Can you hear me? Testing, one, two. This is what it sounds like with the low cut with an increase of 20 dB. Now let's switch it over to the GoPro. So this is what it sounds like with the mic on the normal setting with zero dB increase or decrease. I'm gonna decrease it down to 10. This is what it sounds like with the mic on normal but with the decrease of 10. This is what it sounds like with minus 20 decibels. Now I've turned on the low cut feature. So now let's see how this sounds with a zero increase or decrease and some wind in the air. 
Now I've got the low cut on but I've decreased it by 10 decibels. So I've got the low cut on but I've increased it by 20 decibels. Just so you know, this is what the actual GoPro Hero 5 Black actually sounds like without the actual additional microphone or with a wind diffuser added onto it. Hopefully this mic makes a big difference on this journey and the quality of content I'm going to produce for you guys. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? So I hope you liked the video. Please click on the like and subscribe button down below. Is it down below? And click on the notification bell just beside the subscribe button to be told of any new videos I'm releasing. Hopefully I'm actually uploading this today, which is the Wednesday 19th of July 2017 and it's my birthday. Catch me in the club with a double edge ring, I'm the wrong one to But now it's time for me to get going and get my hair trimmed and my beard sorted out. I think every YouTuber has some sort of a sign off or an outro. Ain't no party once we crash the party. I'm a scoop shorty to vacate the party. You keep really I actually don't at the moment. This is kind of my first video, so I'm just gonna stop talking now. Mm -hmm.